Hello, hola and bonjour. Before I start this video, I do kindly ask that you would go ahead and pop a tap on the subscribe button below. You'll be more than pleased to know that in fact the next video you'll see on this channel after this one is the one where I spend 24 hours in my Z4. And then shortly followed after that by a very big update with a slightly big bill on my 7 Series. So if you don't wanna miss any of those videos, then you should go ahead and hit that subscribe button now. And by that, I mean, I mean right now, you hit that button. Because I should probably point out at this point that I actually, I, I know where you live. Oh, and also, if you don't want me to headbutt you in your sleep, you should go and follow me on Instagram because I'm posting sort of real-time daily updates on there as well. My 7 Series is away from home. It's currently in the garage getting a long list of things sorted, all be explained in that coming video. I thought it would only be fair, given the weather and time of year it is now, we're coming into spring at the end of February here in the UK, it's only fair to dedicate some time to my Z4. Now, for a long time, it's not been in the best condition on an exterior sort of front. I've spent quite a lot of time and, and money in the last year or so getting it mechanically quite sound but it's only fair to get the exterior looking a lot better. So you may recognize from a video with my 7 Series, well, a few months back now, I'm back at iValley UK. Today they're going to be doing an enhancement detail and a ceramic coating on the Z4, which as I say, is much, much needed. We're also going to be changing the color of the wheels, but I'll let you wait and see exactly what color they're gonna be. But I'm actually really excited about this. Uh, the 7 Series, it was amazing to get that cleaned and they did a, an incredible job. But this I've had for years now and it's always needed a bit of attention in this sense. So I'm very excited to, to see how it turns out, especially with the change in wheel color as well. So here's the man himself from the last video. You may recognize him. You helped me out tremendously with the 7 Series, so thank you. No problem. That went down well, that video. And also, it looks amazing, so. Great, I hope you're keeping on top of it. Sort of. <laughs> <laughs> I saw the slippers. <laughs> I brought the Z4 down today. Yep. And uh, well, your first reaction to it was that it, it needs some attention. It does, it needs some love. And it hasn't had any for quite some time, as is quite apparent with the paintwork. So, bits that we're going to focus on today there's a little bit of glue residue from a previous dealer sticker on the back, which needs sorting out. There's algae around the edge of the roof. The headlights need a polish. One of them is a very different shade of clear to the other and mainly the paintwork. So the paintwork at the moment looks like it's been washed with a brick. Um, I don't know if that was you or... <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, it just needs a really good polish and we're going to finish that with a ceramic coating as well. So um, let's crack on. starting off with the roof today. It's definitely gonna be interesting to see how that comes out because it's always an area that gets neglected, especially when I take it to like a hand car wash. They don't do a proper job on the roof and I can't remember ever doing a proper job on the roof myself. So yeah, it's getting a proper scrub up. So satisfying to watch. I know we've all seen a car covered in snow foam before, but to me, it's just the most satisfying thing. Not missing anything at all. And inside there, all nice and lathered. Wheels are obviously gonna get a really, really good scrub up before they're uh, re-sprayed. They are being sprayed, they're not being powder coated. It's just the way we're doing it. Obviously powder coating would be more preferable, but let's just say 
I don't think it's necessarily going to be a permanent colour, so painting's not really a problem. Um, I can always change the wheels. Right, so you've done like an initial clean and rinse and we've just pulled it forward and to me, I mean it, it, it already looks, it actually looks amazing but you're, you're already sort of pointing it and laughing so. Yeah, there's so much more to be done mate honestly. So we've got it to the point where it's now decontaminated, uh, we need to go inside for the clay bar uh, because the direct sunlight out here is too hot to be able to use the lube on the paintwork to be able to make the clay slide so we need to do that inside. But before we actually start polishing, you'll be able to show your guys that the swirls of the holograms along the side of the door is a really nice shot from the sunlight. Yeah. Um, just to show what it is that we're talking about when we're um, explaining about what we're removing with the polishing. So the process of removing the swirls is to use an abrasive polish to imagine you've got a flat surface with loads of ridges in it. We're removing the entire surface down until it's completely flat again with an abrasive polish. So that's what we're going for next. We're going to the unit to get it. This is cool, nice. So yeah, so Rob's just moving the Z4 inside now. Like you just said on camera, I mean, to me, you know, if I'd taken this to a hand car wash to get it cleaned, I'd be like, really actually over the moon with this because to me it looks super clean but actually they've pointed out in the direct sunlight when you look really closely there's just loads of those sort of swirl scratches and this is hopefully what they're going to be able to resolve in here i'm just excited because basically the next time it drives out it's going to look completely different Right guys, so wheels are coming off. They shall be getting sprayed in an undisclosed color. I'm really excited about this actually. I think it's gonna look super good. You're gonna still got those EBC red stuff pads there that I bought in Germany. Haven't seen them in a while. Right. <laughs> is, that, is that sarcasm? <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> so, while all the machine polishing is going on inside the studio, um, we're also the wheels are getting, well, I guess, sanded down out here and um, before they're going to get sprayed, which is really, really exciting. Of course, as with the last video uh, on the 7 series, iValet are also making their own video and that will go into a lot more depth in terms of the actual processes in cleaning the car. So that's definitely worth a watch, the links are all below. But yeah, I've been told to basically just spend a bit of time in the sun, sunbathe, chill for a bit and uh, then we'll go and see the car once it's all been polished.
I'm gonna give you a really quick sneak peek of the first two wheels. Oh. I think you can probably tell what color they're going. But yeah, the second two here are getting prepped around the back. Now that's the last time you'll see them in silver. And what I should also mention is that it's not just a respray, but it's a full refurb as well. So the wheel's gonna be in really good nick. There you go. It's coming out of there. And then yeah, around here they're getting sprayed. And as you saw, these ones looking amazing. I don't think you can quite see that, which is good because I want to save it till later. So this is an example of one of the wheels once it's been primed. I mean, it's literally crayon gray is the best way to describe this color. But it's basically been completely stripped down before it then gets sprayed. this side where it's been machined and this side which is untouched is crazy so much so that there's actually a physical line here there that you can see the color indifference the color indifference the difference in color uh, it's quite remarkable actually it's like a totally new color that I've never seen on the car before because it's never had this much in-depth polishing all four wheels now out of the van, all sprayed, clear coated, or in the process of, and they look incredible in the sunlight. There's literally such a spectrum of color here. It goes from sort of dark brown to gold in the lighter parts. All there is really to see now is obviously how these actually look on the car. the car for you mate it uh, looks amazing glad to know <laughs> it looks um, incredible just a quick rundown of the things that we've done so yep. first of all we gave it a really good clean and decontamination which was similar to what you had on the 7 series yeah um, every car really starts off like that we then went into a lot more depth on the paintwork this time around rather than the interior paintwork had a lot a lot of swells in it as you guys have already seen uh, so that's all removed and now the light hits the panel and comes straight back out again so it looks super super glossy uh, wheels have had the colour change, so they're not pink because sadly didn't make the thousand lights. Not sadly, <laughs> thank God. <laughs> sadly for us. <laughs> luckily for you. Um, and then yeah, ceramic coating for the Nassiol coating, and there she is. She's all yours to drive home into the sunset. And enjoy <laughs> roof down. I hope. Yeah, I think. Right, am I good to put the roof down straight away? I suppose I am. Yeah, yeah. We well, yeah, oh, actually, we sealed the roof as well. Oh yeah, I saw you doing roof, that. Uh, G Tech sealant on the roof. It basically makes all the water bead, it keeps it cleaner for longer. Um, so yeah, you can put that down, it's dry already, so we'll be good to go. But yeah, guys, thank you so much again. I really, really appreciate also, it. Thanks to all of our crew as well. We've, we've, um, we've got Full team. really, really hard on the team effort on that today to get it all turned around in one day. So. And you can tell. Absolutely. Amazing, thank you. Enjoy. And so there it is, guys. The Z4 is now looking how it should clean as the criminal record of a Swiss accountant. 32 hours, 32 hours of time went into cleaning this car and uh, well, you can really tell. I'm actually like really happy on how the wheels turned out too. Honestly, it's really weird the sort of color spectrum that they produce. On this camera shot right now, they look, they look almost like black. They look really dark. However, in person, they're very different, but at nighttime, they look almost gold. In direct sunlight, there's like a real deep fleck to them. And then in sort of dim light like this, there's sort of a, you know, a dark brown almost. For those of you wondering, the exact color, it's actually a BMW color, it's Sepang Bronze which some of you might even have on your BMW Z4Ms. I know it was quite a rare but popular colour on those cars. Super happy with how these have turned out. And also, I didn't realise, but iValet painted the wheel bolts black too, which actually just, I'm glad they did because it sort of just fixes the look. I did also, you may have noticed in the video, they, they weren't on the wheels, but I did also buy some of these new M adhesive stickers 
um, and stuck them on. So they're now looking complete. And like I say, I'm, I'm genuinely super, super happy with them. And I know, I know, you're probably all sitting there foaming at the mouth right now. I, I can literally actually visualize it. You're sitting at your keyboard wanting to type, foam just going everywhere. It's an absolute mess. You're wondering why I didn't get the wheels powder coated. You know, why I sprayed them. It's the wrong way to do it, blah, 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 blah. There is a good reason, a pretty simple reason to it. Powder coating can sort of be a three day process actually. So I wanted this all done in the day. Respraying was the way to go. And like I say, super happy with it. Wouldn't change that for anything. They can always be changed. And so with that, let me know below in the comments what you think of the wheels actually. I'd be really interested. Do you like them or would you have kept them as they were or gone for something completely different? Thank God my post on Instagram didn't get a thousand likes um, because the wheels would have gone pink. Lastly, make sure you go ahead right now and check out iValet's video on the car. They filmed on whilst I was there as well, as they did with the 7 Series, which is also a really good wash actually. Um, and they went into a lot more depth into sort of the processes. So if you want to know a bit more about what they actually did, I do really strongly recommend you go ahead and watch iValet's video. I'll leave a link on the screen somewhere now for you to click and have a look. So once again, massive thanks to iValet. Thanks again to you guys for watching these videos. And um, well, next time you see me, will be for another back-breaking episode where I spend 24 hours in this stupendously clean car. So uh, wish me luck.